Yeah, here we are. It's Friday again, and uh, not a great deal has happened here this week. I'll just, uh, I was away for a week last week, and then I did get most of this stuff finished up down in there, and a few other little things, I forget what. Then I went to work in the other shop because I wanted to, uh, well, I'll show you. I wanted to make a, well, what do you call it? What do you call this thing? There's the beamer. Out in the rain, it rained a little bit today. Well, not very much, a little rain shower. And so I wanted to make a second floor in here. So the, the plan is have that second floor and that's good for storage of stuff. And I'm gonna put a another a four post lift right here. And then I can get I'll lift up those golf carts and put them up above and that won't I'll have more storage space for other stuff because I'm rapidly running out of storage space and I like I like my cars anyway this will be ongoing for next week and uh, you'll be able to see everything that happened here now I don't know what what to be calling this episode because it's kind of a little bit of uh, a little bit of work on the car but mostly just getting this thing together. Now those posts, them things are heavy. But it seems to come along all right and uh, it's nice and level and it should be good and solid. I haven't uh, quite finished all this. It's got to be all nailed down up above here and then a floor put on it. But here we are. So Friday evening, I'll put out a movie and I hope you like it. It's something different. See you next week, I hope. Yeah, now there's a familiar sight. So I'm back from, I was away for a week. Had a nice holiday out in Alberta. So there you go. Flew out there, flew back. Now it's back to the uh, the real grind, as, as you all know. So maybe I'll get a little bit of an episode out this week. Going to address that. That's actually not too bad, but on the other side, I tried to get the same result with heat up here. On this, this is the front fender off the back out here, see? Right there, there's sort of a bump. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, you can see it right there. There's a bump right there. So I'm going to see about getting that thing pushed in a little bit. I'll drill a hole, then put a X on there. Or I'll put an X. Yeah, I'll drill the hole first, put the X on it, and then sort of push it in a little bit and see if I can get that come to the, to the right angle there somehow. It might take a bit of heating. Then otherwise, I'll carry on, but... I've got some other stuff afoot. I've got to, uh, for the winter around here, you know, I, I like to get a lot of stuff inside this shop here. Now, as I collect more stuff, yeah, 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 more stuff, more stuff. I thought about building more shop space, but then I came up with the idea of, uh, there's some lights, not much light in here. I came up with the idea that I'll build a Second story, there's lots of room above here. So from about, see that line on the floor there? Where's the line on the floor? Right there. From about there to the wall, that's 12 feet. So I'll build a second floor that goes up to just about the same height as that board right there, all the way across. So it'll be coming from that side all the way across to this side. Then I'm gonna get one of those car lifts for in here. Or I'm gonna to try to anyhow. And I'll put the car lift so it sits. I'll be able to come straight in from the door, drive up in the car lift. Then I can put stuff like golf carts that I usually store in here up above. And I might even be able to get a, one of the bolts up there. Hmm, don't think it'll bolt fit, they're all too long. But I'll get those, there's three golf carts that go in here and the scooter can go up above and some of that motorcycle stuff can go up above and that'll be much more efficient use of the space then i'll have room down below for you know fairly good room for to keep the tractor in and get the cars in and all that kind of stuff then I, and at that height i won't have to change my little workbench there i'll just leave that there and messy as usual but it's handy to have that workbench in here and i also don't have to move the saws anywhere because I like using the saws in here. 
So there you go, that's the idea. And that thing there, that's the air compressor, and it just sits there and uh, that blue line that goes out goes into the other shop, which is right over there, where I can do some work. And it's already got a lift in it, as you well know. So there's some of the plan. Now maybe I'll, uh, hmm, maybe I'll get it done soon. I've just ordered the wood today. So if I get the wood made and then if, if a lift ever shows up, I'm still working on getting one of them. I'll make it so it all comes together. Might be kind of interesting. So that may be different episodes for that. That won't be car episodes. That'll be uh, build a floor episode or something. I don't know what it'll be. But there you go. Some plans. Something for to think about. First off, but it's nice to be back to this. And I'll, uh, I have to fill that hole down here. Where is it? Right there. And fix that little bit up there. And then this side is basically done. I'm kind of scared to put the door back on because I'm scared it won't fit, but I think it'll fit. We'll see. Anyhow, all for now, I'll just uh, carry on and we'll catch up in a bit. I think I'll just address this thing here first. It's either going to be bad or good. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so there now I've I drilled a hole right there and then I've put a couple of cross cuts on it. So I'll take my hammer and just give it a few gentle taps and see what happens. I think I need sort of two hands on it to do it, so I'll do that and I'll show you what happens. Maybe. Yeah, there now I did a bunch of work all the way around here. I heated it up over here and was able to flatten it out with a slicing hammer. And then over here I've got that big bend out of it and a little bit, I've got to lift that up a bit, then I'll weld these things shut again and put a little plug in there. One of my famous little plugs. I'll find one somewhere. There you go. Looks good to me. It'll be, it's fixable now with, with uh, body, body putty stuff. We hope. We'll see. Yeah, so I had to go to the house for a bit, but back, yeah, there's the house there. That's the back of it. You always see the back of it. There's a front to the house too and a nice view out to the ocean. Anyway, but I was whining to uh, Carolyn and Paul about not having a, my welding shirt was uh, full, burnt full of holes and falling apart. And so she very kindly, I couldn't find one around. So she very kindly went down to the store handy her and uh, sent me this in the mail. It even says, I don't know if you can see that. It says Lauren's welding or something on there. Anyway, there you go. Pretty exciting, hey? I'll get back to work. There, that's pretty, uh, oh, I'll get close here. Pretty ugly welding there. Well, actually not too bad. But I'll get the grinder and clean that off and it actually the uh, slope feels pretty good now and I filled a couple of more pinholes that I found along the way. Looks like another one right there perhaps I filled that before I start grinding. I'll give it a whack. Yeah that's grounded off now and feeling not too bad like the curve feels righter, more right. <laughs> not perfect but pretty close. Well not even pretty close to perfect but a lot better than it was before. So I'll be happy with that, and I'll be able to fix it with body filler, so that it looks nice and smooth. Most of the rest of it looks alright. I'll go back here now and uh, do the finishing touches on this right here, down below, there, that hole there. That'll be the end of this fender done. Then I guess I have to put the other side together, and then I'll start working on some mechanical work and look after anything I have to do through the floor, and I'll save the floor until after I get all the mechanical work done. How was that? Yeah, there you go. That piece is in there now. Actually, it looks not too bad. I'll be able to fill this up with, fix this up with a little bit of body putty and make it look really good. So now, I think I've already done this bit. Yeah, I did that fill up there one other day. I was playing around with little uh, plugs. So I used a couple of those other plugs down in there, down in here also. Now the next thing is this bit of business here. Oh, got my glove stuck in it. I guess I gotta cut that out about here and just see what see what there is to see. Oh, you can see some holes through here. Hmm. Have to check in on that. Well that's right in here. Right here. I'll have to fix that. Hmm. Don't know how yet, but I'll fix it. Anyway, that's coming. 
Yeah, there you go. All the uh, pinholes are looked after except for one little one in there that I found. But otherwise we're all right. And I did a bunch of work around in here too. I'll have to grind that a bit more up here. But I don't want to grind too much because I'll grind right through the right through the metal there. And that'll be no good. So that side there is pretty well done. Tomorrow I'll tackle this stuff here. Or tomorrow I might do some mechanical stuff just to make a change of pace around here. Had enough of body work for now, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, and there you go. I guess I've uh, created myself a job. Hmm. Time to go to work again. Yeah, now the first thing I have to do is move all this stuff. Here's my 12 foot line, 12 foot marker right down there somewhere. There, you can see it right there by my toe. Anyhow, that's 12 feet out right here. That's where the wall will go to, so eventually I'll get up there and get that out of the way. But all this stuff at the back here has to come out of the way, and that stuff I've got to start is moving. There was a pile of motorcycles over there. There was a couple of cars in here, but they've been transferred out here. I pulled the boat out, put it over there, see? And there's the Honda right there. And then in here, well, there's the Mercedes sitting out in the sun. First time I've seen the sun in a long time. And there's a bunch of junk at the back of that tent here that I usually keep the boat in. Now my beamer is up over there somewhere. I don't even know if you can see it through the sun there. And I drive that regularly, so I'll just uh, pull it in out of the garage at nighttime, I think. Otherwise, I might put the Mercedes into here when I get everything else out of the way in here. And then carry on. We'll just see how it goes on. Anyhow, there you go. Yeah, I got most of everything cleared out. Haven't seen those corners for a while. So, I got to take that shelf down. That won't be too tough. The little studs, they have to stay up because they hold the electric electrical in place. But I'll just undo that. Uh, undo the shelf, take it off. That'll be good. And then, uh, pretty well start to ready to start planning on the build. We'll see what happens. I'll put the car in for the night and that'll be that. Yeah, there now I got it cleaned out. Well, most of it. Didn't lift that thing up out of the way, but I guess I have to because they're one of the posts go right there. Then I came and I found the positions for all my posts. I made a plan, hey? Eh? Got a plan. So there's my plan. So it's yellow dots are the posts, and then 16 inch centers, 2 by 10s, and then I'll put a beam across here, and a beam across here, and sort of cantilever out the side, end of it either way, and attach it to the back wall back there. Just, you know, not, not solid to the back wall, but uh, enough to keep it from swaying. And then I'll put some, on the end ones here, I'll put some cross braces on the end ones. And the other ones can sit, stand free. And then that should keep it from going anywhere. Might need a cross brace here and maybe there. We'll figure that out and it'll be up close enough to the wall that won't get in the way. Anyway, <clears throat> there we are. And I made it just high enough. The beams are going to be uh, like 69 inches long. And then the beam goes, the posts are 69 inches long and the posts go on top of that. So that'll just just clear my head if I'm walking underneath them. I guess if I have a welding helmet on it won't, but I will. What the hell. So there now I've drilled the holes. I drilled holes where the beams go and I'm going to put a piece of rebar in like that and glue it down and then I'll cut it about here and put it into the into the bottom of the post and that'll be that'll hold the post on center pretty good. And then I got this laser level thing for leveling them up, so I'll level them up, get it all sorted out. Yeah, now, there's the poster up. That didn't take too long. Working with wood is a lot faster than working with metal, I'll tell you that. And that saw there is pretty quick. So the posts come, they're 12 feet long, and I load them on the front of the tractor and bring them over there. Then the, uh, while they're on this rack here, then I drill a hole in each end on the factory cut side 
and that's in the middle of the in the middle of the factory cut side for to put that rebar that I stuck in the cement in there and then I uh, cut them to length 69 inches so there's that much left out of each one and then after that it's just a matter of uh, getting them on the center of the center of the uh, whatever you call that thing that little post that I stuck out of the ground there anyhow they look like they're all centered up now they look pretty good now I'm not too worried about them being level yet but they're pretty close that one one there isn't right but it'll get done later now the next thing I'll do is I'll build my beams and uh, the beams will be 23 feet long. I'll build them up and uh, then I'll lift them up with the tractor, put the back one on first and then the front one on. And I'll just get them on there temporarily, start putting the framing work on and see what I can do about shoring them up properly. And, it, and then it all should work together all right. Yeah, there we go. Back at it again today. So the uh, that's six 2x10s there. Now yesterday I got all these posts put in and glued to the floor and most of them are pretty level so now I've built the first beam back there that's pretty simple because you just put a, a 12 foot across the back right and you put a 12 foot right in the middle and a 6 foot at each end and then a 12 foot across this front here so then you got the triple triple beam 2 by 10 that should should carry any load I want and then I'll do the same again on the front. I just put a, like a little bit of a tag at, on the end boards here so that the, uh, the damn thing won't fall on my head, eh? Which has been known to happen around here. Anyway, I'll get this other beam built. And then uh, after that, I start putting the framing for the floor in, which would be cool. Yeah, then if you're going to do some of this stuff, you want to have something like this guy here. You got your automatic hammer and it fills up full of nails there and then powered by air and it whoops there we are it certainly saves a lot of wear and tear in your arm because those things there take a lot of nails I put nails in like one there one there one there one there one there one there okay I can count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Twenty-two nails for a ten, for a twelve-foot thing. So that's a nail every foot, twice. And that's a lot of nailing because you do that side and then you do this side and then you do the other side. Boy, it's three times as many. So one of those things there is pretty handy. Yeah, so here's something interesting. So the back, close to the wall here, perfectly level across the top thing because everything came out and fit right on. You see how no gap. No gap. No gap. And no gap. Now this one, this one here, no gap there. You get out to the middle, there's a little bit of sag in the concrete, so there's about a quarter inch sag in the concrete there. Now, I guess I have, uh, what I'll do is I'll just put some shims in that with uh, shingles. I got lots of shingles, so I'll put a couple of shims in there to make it tight and not try to pull that beam down, just make the beam flat and level. Yeah, that's a compressor going in the background there, but here, I figured I'd better level these up so that that hole there is leveled up that way plus this way. Not with the ones, ones in the back, they seem to be pretty solid the way they are right now and I'm not too worried about them being off, they're all level. But these ones here at the front were a little bit wobbly going back and forth. So I, I put a shoring up on them, just a cross brace on there. Now I've got a bunch of uh, metal, this kind of metal here, see that thing? That's from left over from building these two shops. So I've got a bunch of them so I'll put a when I'm done with it I'll put a cross brace across the bottom 
and then a couple going up like this and make it look good and it'd be bolted together and they're not not great big things anyway carry on i got one more one more two by ten to put on there's a see here's the seam of the six foot one here so that's six feet to there and then 12 feet down the, on the on the what do you call that 12 feet across to here and then another six foot chunk and on the front here it starts in the middle goes 12 feet starts in the middle goes 12 feet and on the back I'll put another two more 12 foot chunks on there so that'll be a good strong beam yeah there we go those two beams are up there now now the uh, and I nailed them all on here this one here actually was pretty close enough this one here I had to put a bit of a shim on there so either I cut that beam too short I couldn't have done that could I or the little dip in the floor there or all of the above anyhow they're all leveled up and everything is looking good now I'll build a, a like a 12 by 12 frame that goes across the top of it and over to the wall and then I'll start putting in uh, whatever you call a floor joist on top of the floor joist goes on top of this Anyway, there we go. Yeah, yeah, generally I like to build the frame on the floor and then just put it up, but in this case, it would get way too heavy. I wouldn't be able to lift it and I couldn't get the tractor in to lift it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this board here and just set it up on here, approximately where it's supposed to go. Whoops, look up here, Lauren. Set it up on top of here, approximately where it's supposed to go and I'll put the cross beams into it and then build the frame right there and then push it over to the right spot. That might be a whole bunch easier than trying to uh, lift that thing up and push it around. So I'll give that a try and see what happens. So all those marks are 16 inch centers. So all the uh, beams, floor joists would be 16 on center and then three quarter inch flooring goes on top of that. We'll just see. <laughs> There you go, there's half of it up. It's not nailed down yet. You can, you, know, you can move it around a bit. So I will get it nailed down eventually. And I should put some cross braces in the center here, just around here. I'll put some cross braces across there if I can think about how to do that. Likely I just use two by two by ten chunks. And that'll that'll keep it from squeaking. Then so I gotta do this side, and there's nothing here yet. Open. So I'll do this side here, which is another 12 foot chunk. And that worked pretty well, doing it the way that I did it there. I had, was able to lift, get it lifted without breaking myself. So here I'll go again, and I'll just mark the centers on that board I have out there in the tractor. Yeah, there you go. So I'll mark the centers on this board here, put it up on top of that thing there and then start putting the other the new boards on it so that worked hmm what do you know i let the tractor do all the most of the heavy lifting i have to lift it out of the pile onto the tractor but that's enough for the second for the second uh, frame right there so i'll drive it over to the door they don't fit through the door because the door is only 11 foot and the, those sticks are 12 foot if I had room, I could likely squeeze them in, but that uh, trailer's in the way, so I can't make any maneuvers. Anyway, there we go. I'll carry on. Yeah, there's the other side done. That wasn't too tough. A little bit of pushing in and pulling. Now, I got a two-foot overlap here on then the beams, and I got an eight-foot span, and then I got another two-foot overlap here. Now, I'm going to sort of affix it to the wall from the outside. I'll just put some screws into it from the outside of that. Because that wall is, it's strong, but it's not, it's not really, it's load bearing up and down, but it's not load bearing back and forth. So then I'll uh, put some braces in there. So maybe the next thing I should do is brace those things properly. And then I'll, uh, hmm, then I'll uh, get this thing nailed down to the, uh, from the top down. 
Yeah, so <clears throat> I built myself a template, that edge and that edge, 34 degrees, and it goes across from this span here from there to there. So I'll put this span, I'll make it going from top here, bottom there, and at the other end, I'll make it going from The other, way around, whoops, the other way around from top on that side to bottom on that side and then when these are all nailed on there that'll make that very strong maybe triangles and squares and all that kind of stuff and I'll use uh, I've got two of these two of these beams up here to, two of these posts and they'll be uh, for the cross member and then I'll I'll go ahead and put them on and hold them on with leg, leg nuts or leg bolts, whatever you call those things. Anyhow, these things are heavier than sin.